Hey guys, hey. So, it was a lot worse than we thought. Um, her jaw was actually broken two different places. One in the very middle of her jaw and one on the side where the mandible is. Um, here's how she's looking. Lots of blood, lots of icky. Um, her tongue is really dried out and so I'm just taking some water and just dripping it onto her tongue to keep it a little more moist. Um, she's going to need another surgery to remove some of the wires and stuff so um, this was really 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 expensive. And we had to buy a specialty cone because they didn't have one like this. And we had to go out and buy specialty food. And we have to go to a compound pharmacy because we can't give her pills. And she's not allowed to <laughs> jump. Um, she's not allowed to get up and down on her own for eight to six weeks. She's not allowed to run around for eight to six weeks. She's on a constant sedative for the next 10 to 12 weeks. She's not able to eat solid foods for 10 to 12 weeks. Um, yeah, so we had to buy this pen thing over here to put out um, because she's not going to be allowed to be anywhere else and she can't be alone ever. So this is really going to make things hard for me like going to the gym and like going out and doing anything. It's going to make my life really, really difficult. But you got to do what you got to do. So I'm actually going to leave my, um, <laughs> I'm going to leave my GoFundMe up. Um, in two weeks, she gets her staples out. She's got staples all down her chin. I don't know if I can show you guys that right at the moment. She's got, well, you guys can't really see it without messing with her. But she's got um, staples down her chin poor baby um, like all the way down her neck even and her tongue and everything is swollen and then um, so eight weeks from now she has to have um, another facial surgery to go in there and remove the wire that will be sticking out from underneath here because the way they put it like they put two wires over like underneath her tongue there's a wire and another wire around two canines and then that pulled this part together where it was broke in the middle and then she has a wire from here to here which holds this part together so he has to go back in where they have this part attached to these teeth and it'll be sticking out like down in there he'll have to cut it and pull it out from the top So yeah, she she did a she did a number on herself. Um, I've got a whole bunch of antibiotics and a whole bunch of medication. And she's on tramadol and yeah. So um, she's completely zoinked out of her mind. I want to say thank you for everybody who donated and who has tried to help us. I had no idea how bad it was going to be until they called us today, and it is really, really bad. And so bad that I might not be able to go back to Korea um, at all. Like, and that's hard for me to say, but I just might not be able to. It's not really about money. It's it's about a lot of stuff, but mostly the the fact she can't be left alone and she can't be jostled too much and she can't run around and do anything and she can't jump and she can't eat correctly and I don't have anybody else here to watch her um, and my mother-in-law doesn't want to watch her while I'm gone so I have to do it myself which it's my dog so I mean obviously her little tongue is so dry baby well I'm sorry hey, you can kind of see um, I'm just putting this down here so, like, I can drip water on her tongue and it not, like, it get under her incisions. So, this is where they gave her one of her IVs. Here was the other one. And she's just laying in my lap, um, miserable. So, there's your update, guys. I hope everyone's having a wonderful day no matter where you are. Um, Yuki is not feeling good. 
uh, she won't feel good for a very long time. So, and I will talk to you again, hopefully tomorrow with an update. Bye.